Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher LaPere at Jacksonville Center for Reproductive Medicine. Today I'm excited to give you guys a video series on IVF and pre-implantation genetic testing of embryos. And who should be thinking about that? Who shouldn't be thinking about it? Does it help or, or does it not? Uh, but first, in part one, we're going to talk about how do we get to the embryo? And how do we know what day we should do biopsies on? Uh, so the first thing is that in order to get to genetic testing, we have to do in vitro. So in vitro fertilization is basically a process where we would use medications, typically injectable medicines <clears throat> that are subcutaneous, so just below the skin, for about 10 days on average. And we do an egg retrieval, which is about a 15 minute procedure um, where it doesn't require any incisions. And we would retrieve eggs with a little tiny needle while the patient is asleep and those eggs would then be inseminated with with sperm where we put the eggs and the sperm together to create an embryo and embryos are watched over five days in culture typically to the blastocyst stage so first i wanted to kind of just discuss briefly like why do we go to the blastocyst stage which is essentially a day five embryo we do that because we know that the blastocyst embryo has a much higher implantation rate, so there's a higher success rate when you transfer a blastocyst embryo, typically, versus a day two or three embryo, which used to be done in the past. So the day five embryo, basically, if we think about it just from a normal kind of physiologic standpoint, that's the embryo that's inside the uterus. Uh, we used to do transfers on day two or three because we didn't have the ability to culture embryos very well past that point. But essentially, the day two or three embryo is still in the fallopian tube. So the environment's different, uh, and the embryo is actually kind of metabolizing and, and uh, progressing with different nutrients as it would compared to uh, an embryo inside the uterus. All right, so now we got to the day five embryo, and we know why we culture that long. But in the next series, we're going to talk about how do we grade these embryos? How do you know one embryo is better than another? Does it make a difference? And when do we do PGT?